so hello everyone today we are doing book review of evidence based research of homeopathy in dermatology authored by dr girish gupta and today i have with me professor regina rianelli and i am so honored to do a review of book i book title with this name evidence based research of homeopathy in dermatology it's such a beautiful book and dr gupta is a world renowned homeopathy practitioner from lucknow uttar pradesh and uh, so along with me for this book review professor regina from brazil she is also here and this is kavita kokunur board certified homeopath from usa president nc of kavita holistic approach founder and director of ka homeopathy study group first we would say many congratulations dr gupta for giving this valuable gift to homeopathy fraternity and humanity and i would say this book is one of the best books i ever got it in dermatology so first before um, uh, i would like to welcome and we will have more to hear from you about the book so this is uh, such a nice uh, color which we i really like it and with at the back dr gupta's picture and the information this past september we did ka homeopathy study group webinar with dr girish gupta on evidence based homeopathy with best cases it is two hour webinar with beautiful cases that was amazing and um, the greatness of this book is this was released by dr gupta's grandson um, uh, master <laughs> <laughs> garvish gupta on his yeah, yeah. <laughs> birthday that is really such yeah. a uh, great yeah. thing because of this pandemic crisis and unprecedented times so and also i am so honored to get the privilege to receive this book as my birthday gift so yeah <laughs> so first thing before i wanted to go and talk dr gupta what made you to write this book what inspired you yeah yeah this is a big question uh in fact uh, dr kavita way back in 1992 there was a meeting of uh, eminent homeopathic doctors in lucknow one allopathic doctor who had a lot of belief in homeopathy uh, cv pande he the ent surgeon he was also attending the meeting during the discourse of the meeting he said homeopaths are claiming a lot but they show little a uh, particularly in skin diseases he challenged that there is nobody on the earth who can cure a single case of vitiligo he said i have never seen any single case of vitiligo or psoriasis being cured and people are making lot of claims so it hurt me a lot so without telling anything i came back i could not sleep that night it's a way back 1992 and i was thinking with a dr cv pande he was being a ent surgeon he is having lot of belief and faith in homeopathy why he is telling like that then i thought people have not been able to show to the world with evidence this is what is lacking so instantly i started working on it and then later i established a research center and uh, started doing photography at each and every case that time computer and laptop and uh, mobile was not there so by hard copies of keeping hard copies of the photographs of each and every patient so i started spending lot of money and uh, labor on that so after going through th- hundreds of cases i came to know that well we are able to treat and we are getting success in a few percentage of cases so i started documenting cases with with evidence then i started publishing uh, then i i published first my uh, first of my paper on vitiligo in 2002 then followed by psoriasis then lichen plana then ward then lichen i mean um, uh, alopecia areata then fungal infections of skin hair and nail after documenting hundreds and hundreds of cases we had drawn a conclusion that we are getting success but 
failure rate is also there so when i compiled all that work then i thought why not to compile in a form of book and this is the result of that only so i was inspired by one dr c p goel whom i dedicated this book he was my guru he was a master of homeopathy master of organon he inspired me uh, giris if you are publishing cases if you compile and uh, then see whether a book can be published so i thought of doing that it took about 3 years to me to compile all the papers and cases then the result is this book so this is the background in short i was inspired or rather i was catalyzed by allopathic doctor claiming that homeopathic homeopathic doctors are not able to treat uh, without showing the result they are just claiming so that was the stimulus so it took i mean uh, to 28 years for me to bring out this and uh, then i held a seminar on vitiligo and i invited dr c b pande as the chief guest then i said this story he had forgotten he said i i don't remember whether i told like this so i said doctor like tulsi das wrote ramayan inspired by his wife so you inspired me to <laughs> compile Uh, this kind of research work and the book is out outcome of that so this is the background story of uh, this book but ultimately god is great yes that was very inspiring message dr gupta because many homeopaths yeah. are not successful yeah. in treating dermatological cases special several cases but today yeah. you have shown several yeah. cases uh, in treating so many to name few vitiligo psoriasis and many more yeah. disease conditions and you have shared today the secret yeah. behind your success that is really amazing yeah. and uh, so we have professor regina would you like to um, um, ask any questions please oh yes please i am also inspired by you dr gupta it is such really? an honor being able to listen from your experience that yeah. you want to document and yeah. keep the pictures and uh, publish you get yeah. material for such a wonderful book that's yeah. helping humanity mahatma yeah. gandhi said homeopathy yeah. cure a great percentage of cases other than any other method treatment yeah. and yeah. it's other in treating patients and economically and no violently so it is a bless a new blessing the humanity <laughs> with your dermatology cases and many other so well inspired yes yeah. i have a, i have a very uh, strong and uh, faith on the use of uh, arsenic album graphitis hepar sulfur and host tox and they also help in skin conditions but the way you proposed on the book any other homeopath will have their foot uh foot uh footsteps on your um precisely surgical uh documented dermatologic dermatology cases that will help so many people so many families you are heavenly yeah. sent dr gupta thank you so yeah. much namaskarams yeah. yeah thank you thanks for thank good words <laughs> and dr gupta <laughs> you have skillfully folded the yeah. research work all the published papers at a higher level to say the diagnostic yeah. details and treatment protocols and you have taken a very laborious task and as you said like this book is dedicated to dr chandra uh, chandra prakash goyal and this book is printed in oh, india yeah. and uh, it is also available online to purchase and such a nicely with the material and everything it is with the colorful it's amazing and the yeah. preface <laughs> i'm just i cannot um, um uh, stop myself with the, the everything so colorful 
preface from Dr. Gupta. It's beautiful. And um, so much he has written for this uh, in, uh, people and every homeopath to get inspired. And he says that the gold experience I could gather after treating thousands of skin diseases cases in the last 35 years is that such cases are cured only when treated on holistic basis. Uh, that is treat the person yeah. this is and not the person uh, this is in person by well selected remedy with suitable potency and infrequent repetition and acknowledging the several people who are involved and there is a four four word by so many great famous homeopaths professor dr chaturbuja nayak who is president and chairman and of homeopathic pharmacopoeia committee former director general of ccrh government of India. And uh, there is a quote remarks of uh, Gerald Peer, which I like it. Without publication, science is dead. And um, so much uh, from yeah. Dr. Manchenda, director of Ayush, and um, Dr. Anil Kurana, director general of Centre Council for Research in Homeopathy, with all beautiful, their, um, the reviews and everything about the book is amazing, along with Dr. Subha Singh. Uh, MD Director, uh, National Institute of Homeopathy and Dr. Jawharsha, Director of Mind Technologies yeah. and Enlightenment Education yeah. um, of Welcome. Yeah. This book is such a unique, like I like the best, the table of contents, such a nice way with clear um, way of uh, going. See, whenever I, um, I needed a case, then I just flip on to the pages and just get that information to get more ideas. Mm -hmm. So with the table of contents, vitiligo, psoriasis, alopecia areta, lichen planus with nicely different colors and uh, what molluscum contagiosum, mycosis of nail, publications and, uh, and then at the end we have the publications and photo gallery. So each topic, it is such a uniquely mentioned with, um, say for example, if you take the topic of, I just wanted to give a little bit because it will take more than one hour to say about this. <laughs> but in nutshell, so if you go on to this, just take the one topic, which is good. So what Dr. Gupta has done is he has started with the photographic evidence based study on the role of homeopathic medicines. Say if you take the vitiligo or whatever the condition and then the background, abstract, introduction, causes, classification, objectiveness, materials, methods, and demographics with several model cases. And everything has a detailed case taking, chief complaints, starting from chief complaints, case analysis, and well-chosen rubrics for repertorization. And then comes the result of repertorization, remedy selection, dosage, and detailed follow-ups with illustrations. So, so anything, um, just like even if you see the pie diagrams, all the um, uh, things, so that is where with before picture and of, after picture, which, with uh, thorough clinical evidence. So that is most, I really like the best to see when you come into the repertorization, how it, um, the things and the references and the detailed follow-ups and the images. Just, I just wanted to say how beautiful it is uh, presented and um, for learning purpose for everyone. So that is how it is. And with the references, discussions. So it is so, so much there along with the concluding the analysis and um, it, this is all at a higher level which we are seeing and at the appendix we can see the consolidated list of authors research publications which I really like it such a beautiful um, way of a book it's like a bible so, and whenever mm -hmm. you can see yeah, at yeah. The pictures you have these pictures I'm, I'm just having a hard time to uh, open this one and show to you all how it looks how beautifully um, it looks with clearly um, documented and all the publications whichever has done with the reviews, with the beautiful testimonials, photo gallery, and at the end, the best part, the awards and prizes Dr. Gupta has received. That is really the best part. And overall, this book is highly recommended for teachers, students, clinicians, researchers, 
uh, because it has a lot of documentation and uh, scientific uh, inform approach towards the homeopathy and it will derive great benefits in treating the dermatological conditions, especially with this our system of medicine, which is the dynamic system of medicine homeopathy. And this, this book also has filled all the gaps whichever are needed and uh, for the evidence-based research in the variety of topics. And I like um, uh, the best um, here, if you don't mind, I can read the quote of Robert B. Taylor, um, Clinician's Guide to Medical Writing. You can have a bright, brilliant idea, performing, perform groundbreaking research and write the results with great proficiency. But if the paper is not published so that it can be cited, criticized or praised, then the effort has been largely wasted. The advancement of science depends on sharing of knowledge in print. So anything, whichever the small thing, whichever we do, if it is put it in properly documented and um, reach to the right person's right audience, then we can make a big difference. So much to say, Dr. Gupta, what message would you like to um, tell um, uh, in homeopaths or anyone, please? Uh, Dr. Kavita, actually, this is my little effort, whatever I could do in my life. Uh, and life goes like that. Now I'm touching 65. And when I started, I was 35, I mean, between 30 to 35. So life goes on like that. So my the clear message to all homeopathic doctors is to document whatever you are doing. Otherwise, if, whatever success you can get in life, if you are not able to show to the world, nobody is going to believe, particularly in this 21st century. So my clear message to all homeopathic doctors, especially the budding homeopathic doctors, young ones, to start documenting cases and follow the principles. Don't Please don't compromise with the principles of homeopathy. It should be holistic as enunciated by Henneman. You can do nosological research work in a particular condition or disease. But please, please never forget to uh, your homeopathic principle. And moreover, all combinations, mixtures, patents, they are worthless, I tell you. I'm not against anybody, but they are worthless. They may help in viral fever, cold and cough, but no patent drugs so far made by any company can cure a single case of psoriasis vitiligo, lichen planus, or what like that. So please follow your principles, document cases, and at the same time, diagnose the condition as far as modern medicine is concerned. Without diagnosing, without clear-cut nosological diagnosis, you cannot claim that I have cured a case of psoriasis or vitiligo, whatever. So for skin diseases, photographic evidence is enough because you are not going for biopsy and all. So, but for gynae condition, for pathological conditions, ultrasonography, CT scan, MRI must be utilized for purpose of diagnosing. Then you start treating on the basis of holistic approach enunciated by Henneman. And of course, Kavita holistic approach. You, your title mm -hmm. is beautiful. Uh, it inspired me. And I thought uh, as if uh, I was working for KHA. I, I feel like this. Because this is Kavita holistic approach. My approach to homeopathy is holistic only. So this is just a synonymous of each other. So my clear message to young doctors is to dedicate yourself to develop homeopathy on scientific footprint. Start documenting, start diagnosing and follow homeopathic principle. Then whatever results, whether positive or negative, should be documented. Then you can make a data as this is the success rate, this is failure rate, this is the condition where we, it is a status quo, our cases are not improving. If you come up with this kind of data, even negative result in research is equally important. So you, you don't be discouraged because, you know, in uh, vitiligo cases, success rate, cure rate is just 10%. And 30, 40% 40 is improving cases. But 60% is failure rate. I gladly accept it. So, because unless you have a data, 
you cannot say this is your failure rate or what is your success rate. So please do start documenting, follow the principle, and that definitely a day will come. Uh, everybody can write a book like this. What ever I could do, and this story has to go on. It should not end with me. So, Kavita ji, this is my clear message to young doctors. So please be sincere to homeopathy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Gupta. That was a beautiful yeah. message. And yeah. <laughs> uh, it is really very inspiring. And uh, yeah. so how one can reach you um, to get the book? Please can you provide the details, how they can get this beautiful yeah. copy? How can uh, they? Uh, there is a website, yeah. uh, gcchr.com. Okay. gcchr.com. This yeah. is uh, mentioned here. It is mentioned in uh, the back page of the last page. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We will type on the video. Yes, thank yes. you. Yeah, yeah. We, we will send so, the link um, in yeah. the uh, recording. That way one can yeah. get it. And uh, so nice to have author speaking about the big, along with this book review. That is really wonderful. And many congratulations, yeah. Dr. Gupta. And you, you also yeah. have another book in gynecologically, which we can do yeah. in future. But this message is very nice. And um, yeah. many congratulations. And thank you for being here. And I we would definitely, I love this book so much. One of the best book I ever had it uh, read. Yeah. And everyone would love it. Yeah. Definitely, it's a good information. Yeah, and yeah. Professor Regina, would you like to say anything before we wrap? Documentation, safe medication, and follow the master Samuel Hahnemann and Dr. Gutta's footsteps because we'll <laughs> go on forever. Thank you for yeah. this great opportunity of witnessing yeah. science being made and progressed and embracing the whole planet. Many blessings to you, Dr. Gupta. Thank you for this great opportunity, Dr. Kavita. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you, thank you Professor Regina, and thank you, Dr. Gupta. Yeah. Again, once yeah. again, congratulations, yeah. and thank you so much for being here. Thank yeah. you for your precious time. That is most yeah. important. And uh, yeah. until then, stay Cheers. healthy and happy. Wish you good luck. Happy Thanksgiving and many more yeah. success in future. Okay. Yeah. Namaskar. Namaste. Namaskar. Namaskaras, doctor. Namaskar. Love you.